Hi y'all, it's Taryn. Some of y'all posted on my website about liking to see some YouTube videos. I thought we'd start this one off with talking about pendulums. All the pendulum is, is it's a pendant attached to a chain. This is what mine looks like. You can find these at um, metaphysical shops online, or you can even use um, a necklace that you have lying around the house. All a pendulum does is read energy fields. It doesn't matter if you buy the most expensive pendulum or you use a necklace, the results are going to be the same. The only thing you really have to think about is that you want your pendulum to be something that you're drawn to. Um, if you're drawn to your pendulum, your pendulum's drawn to you, you're just going to work better. One of the first things I always do when I bring my pendulum home, especially a new pendulum, is I hold it in my dominant hand and I visualize white light covering up my hand, covering up the pendulum, and clearing my pendulum. Releasing all the negative energy that it's holding out back into the world to be reused for good energy. And that's how I clear my pendulum. You can choose a technique that you like. Um, pretty much when you come up with a technique, all it needs to be is the power of thought. You know, you're thinking you're clearing your pendulum, so that's what you're doing. Um, also, with new pendulums, you're always going to want to get them used to your energy field. And it's actually a good idea to do this with all your pendulums. I always have my pendulum with me. I want it to be as used to my energy field as it can be. Um, one way I do that is I don't let anybody hold my pendulum because if I take my pendulum and I give it to my best friend, I'm switching from my energy field to her energy field. What you're doing is you're confusing your pendulum and you're not going to get accurate results. And you always want accurate results, especially when you're reading for other people. Another thing you can do is keep your pendulum with you. Keep it in your pocket, keep it near you, keep it in your car. Um, that's just going to, once again, get it used to your energy field, which is going to be good for your pendulum, which is going to be good for you. Uh, a lot of people ask what you can do with a pendulum. There are a lot of things you can do with a pendulum. If you Google, you can find so many new exercises every day you can do with your pendulum. A couple of things I do with my pendulum, first of all, there's hundreds of charts. There are yes-no charts, percentage charts, diagnosis charts, what to use for your body charts, what your body needs charts. You can look at auras, you can look at energies, you can do healings for yourself and for others. Um, you can find lost things, you can find water. There are just so many, so many things you can do with a pendulum. Um... One of the last things I want to talk about is how to store your pendulum because just as important as it is to, you know, keep your pendulum around you, getting it used to your energy field, it's also important to store your pendulum properly. I keep my pendulum in a silk scarf. You can really just keep it in anything that you're attracted to. Another thing that I do with my pendulum, um, since I have people walking in and out of my house all day, I always say a prayer of protection for my pendulum before I lay it down um, in my scarf because I want it to stay clean so when I pick it up I don't have to cleanse it because I already know it cleansed. Um, how I do that is I ask Archangel Michael to watch over my pendulum to put the blue light of protection over it to keep it safe to keep negative energy off of it until I'm ready to use it again. So when I pick up my pendulum my pendulum is ready for me to use it. And that's really been an introduction to pendulums. Next time we'll kind of talk about how you actually use the pendulum. So I hope this introduction was good.